This is how I tricked Spotify into releasing my AI Peter Griffin song. Step back in time to the neon lights Where the funky beats night the night In a world of spandex, big hair Everybody's feeling the rhythm in the air Ooh, yeah. I used AI apps to create the song you just heard. Best of all, I'll guide you step by step on how to create a song just like this. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I'd like to cover some important key elements. First, does Spotify even allow AI generated music? Yes, yes it does. BBC News did an interview with the boss man himself, Daniel E.K., founder of Spotify, and it's titled, Spotify will not ban AI-made music, says boss. It goes on to say, the boss of Spotify says he has no plans to completely ban content created by artificial intelligence from the music streaming platform. He also goes on to say, songs that impersonate someone without their consent will be pulled, but the middle ground, where songs may just be inspired by an artist without actually actually claiming to be them or songs that are entirely AI generated can stay. So yes, AI generated music can be uploaded to Spotify. However, you can't mimic an artist and claim to be that specific artist, but inspired by is allowed, which is why I went on a long journey to find Perry Griffin, Peter Griffin's long lost brother who happens to have musical talent. However, don't quote me on that. He might just look similar and sound similar, but have no family ties to that family guy. <laughs> okay, let's Get back on track. Now that you know what can and can't be uploaded to Spotify, you might be thinking, well, can AI really create a song good enough for Spotify? Well, music is relative, right? This song was made by a human. Ah, Steve Moisi. The song you just heard is called Ah by the human artist Steve Moisi. I'm probably butchering his name. To comply with copyright laws, I'm only playing around 10 seconds or less, which I believe falls under fair use guidelines for commentary and educational purposes, right? Now, let me clear the air. I'm not trying to knock the guy. He has talent. Check it out. 1.2 million subscribers. And I'm not going to lie. His track melted my soul. And it's very catchy. Anyways, this song was made by AI Perry Griffin. Oh yeah, we got the moves like you never seen. Shaking that hips, being so keen. Dance for the life, the party's on. What do you think? Is AI simply generated trash, as some users would say, or does it have some decent outputs? Again, I rest my case about relativity, right? In one of my previous videos, which I shared for free, by the way, I guided you through the entire process of listing your AI songs on Spotify and got some not so happy viewers. <laughs> you need to stop resisting. <laughs> Hard to please, right? Maybe it's just me, but thinking logically seems off somehow. Why do some folks head to an event they're not into just to boo or toss stuff at others? I was curious and used AI to spy on them. You won't believe what I saw. Hey, dude, I heard they got a concert tonight. Really? Who's performing? I don't know. Someone I dislike. Oh man, what a bummer. I got an idea. Let's pay for tickets with our hard-earned money to go to that concert and boo them off stage. Bro, you are such a genius. While we are at it, let's throw water bottles and stuff at them. Bro, I knew you were brilliant. This is crazy, dude. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. On God. Oh man, it didn't explain the logical reasoning behind it. However, let's get back to it, shall we? Now, the first step is to generate an AI generated track. Depending on which app you use, each AI music generator has its own set of terms of service, which you should go over. However, for me, I use Suno AI because with the paid version, you get full rights to the song you create. Personally, it's the best AI music generator and by far my favorite. Before Suno, I used something called SoundRaw, which was fine at the time, but they don't give you exclusive rights to the the song. On top of that, it starts to sound repetitive and it's only instrumentals. Suno will do either or, instrumental tracks or tracks with vocals. Now I already generated my track which is fairly easy to do. Come up with an idea, enter your prompt and generate until you get something you like. Once you have that track, we now need to separate the vocals from the instrumental. There are a ton of ways to do this. For me, since I already edited my videos using CapCut Pro, this is how I personally do it. Now this feature does require CapCut Pro. but 
but if you use the link in my link tree, you'll get access to CapCut Pro for seven days. If you want to do it online, just do a search for vocal remover and try your luck with the different websites available. But right now, let's head into CapCut. Once you're here, drag and drop your AI generated song into the timeline. We need to make a duplicate of this audio track because we need to separate the vocals and instrumental. To make a duplicate, grab the audio track while holding down the Alt key on your keyboard and drag the track down to the bottom track. This will make a duplicate. Now, right click on your top audio file and scroll over vocal isolation. Select remove vocals. This doesn't take long and if you look here, you'll see the progress. Once it's done, right click on the bottom audio track under vocal isolation and select keep vocals. Now you'll have the top audio track, which is now your instrumental and your bottom track, which is your vocal track. Click on the icon to mute the instrumental track. Now click on export. We will be exporting our vocal track as an MP3. So uncheck video and check audio. Perfect. Now we have our vocal track. We need to hand it over to Perry Griffin so he can dub over this track. For this, we will use Musify. Go to my link tree and find the link that says Make AI Song Covers. From here, click on Convert Voice. Now, select the voice. From here, select Peter Griffin. They labeled it wrong. It's supposed to be Perry Griffin. Trust me, I'm an internet expert. Now, upload your vocal track and click generate. This process is pretty quick and once it's done, simply download your newly dubbed track. It's time to head back over to CapCut. Import your Perry Griffin track and now mute or delete your previous vocal track from the timeline. Be sure to unmute your instrumental track and you're done. You now have a Perry Griffin song ready to go. Let's get this uploaded to Spotify, shall we? However, be warned, you'll piss off a lot of anti-AI people, so do this at your own risk. Warning, engaging in this activity may significantly increase your risk of upsetting the anti-AI crowd. Side effects include receiving long rants in your inbox, unexpected debates at dinner parties, and an overwhelming amount of eye rolls. Users may also experience spontaneous lectures on the good old days before technology. Proceed with caution and at your own risk. This message is brought to you by those who enjoy poking the bear. Remember, you've been warned. In order to get this onto Spotify, we need to use a distribution service such as DistroKid. Go to my link tree and find Upload Your AI Music to Spotify. This will also give you a percentage off for your first year subscription. Yes, it does cost money to distribute your songs onto Spotify, but the cool thing is it will distribute your music not only to Spotify, but also to iTunes and other platforms too, as confirmed by Planet Music Samos. Thank you, by the way. Now, as far as pricing, it's $22.99 for the year, which comes out to little less than $2 per month. You'll get unlimited uploads for the whole year, and using my link will also get you a discount on top of the original $22.99 price. They will ask you to upgrade to a bunch of other stuff. It's totally up to you, but all you need is the basic package. Once you're upgraded, click on upload a track and fill out all of your music information. You'll need an album cover designed in 3000 by 3000 pixels. But hey, I got you covered. Let's go and design an album cover. Let's use Leonardo AI. In my link tree, look for Leonardo AI art generator. Click on the image generator. You'll notice that they do not have an option for 3000 by 3000 pixels. So we will choose 1024 by 1024 and upscale it. Now, feel free to mess with the settings and fine tune it to your liking and style. Because this is a tutorial and I already made an album cover, I'll just make up a prompt. I'll use photo of a cyborg. Okay, this will do. You get the point. Now, let's upscale it. Unless you have a premium Leonardo account, you won't be able to upscale it here. In that case, use this website. Upload your image and now select 4X. Now download the 4X image. You should end up with a 4096 by 4096 pixel image. This is all you need. Now I know it's not 3000 by 3000 pixels, but remember it's always better to upload a higher resolution and scale it down. Go back to DistroKid and upload your new album cover. Fill out the required details for your music track. After you filled out all of your music track information, check all the mandatory boxes and continue. It's that simple. In a few days you should get an email something like this from distro kids automated mailbot bleep bleep bloop my friend bleep bleep bloop now i'm excited to see what you guys create let me know in the comments if you created something by following my tutorial just in case you want to see what i did it's on spotify in the meantime let's check out the perry griffin track step back in time to the neon lights where the funky beats night the night In a world of spandex, big hair Everybody's feeling the rhythm in the air Ooh yeah We got 
got the moves like you've never seen. Shaking that hips, being so keen. Dance for the life, the party's on. We'll break it down to our visions. In this electric disco, the vibe is right. No need to worry about tomorrow's cares. Just lose yourself in the party atmosphere. Get when the first and it the on. Well, the funky beats at night, the night. In a world of spandex and big hair. Everybody's feeling no rhythm in the air. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We got the moves like they never seen. We'll break it down to a position. In this electric disco, the vibe is right. No need to worry about tomorrow's cares. Just lose yourself in the funky atmosphere. You know, embracing new technologies like AI can ruffle some feathers, but hey, that's half the fun, isn't it? Seeing those anti-AI folks get all riled up is just an added bonus to this creative process. Speaking of bonuses, if you want to take your AI music game to the next level, make sure to check out the links in the description. I've got some special discounts and resources lined up exclusively for my viewers. Who knows? Maybe your AI-generated music tracks will be the next big hit on Spotify. You never know. And by the way, this is an older video of mine, but I take you on a journey into making a music video for your AI tracks. So you can upload them to YouTube and even on DistroKid. So be sure to watch this video. And hey, if you found this video informative and valuable, I'd appreciate your support by giving it a like, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. This helps get my video discovered in the YouTube algorithm. Your engagement makes a big difference in helping get my videos discovered by more people who could benefit from the information I share for free.